This is the map of the Filibuzi Greenstone Belt, where Kavango has chosen to build its business. The Filibuzi Greenstone Belt runs about 25 kilometres from west to east and 15 kilometres from north to south. It's one of Zimbabwe's smaller Archean Greenstone Belts, but is the perfect setting for Kavango to build its business. In the mid-1990s, a pair of very famous structural geologists called Campbell and Pitfield completed a study of Filibuzi where they concluded that this greenstone belt is host to at least one Tier 1 undiscovered gold deposit with multiple other Tier 2 deposits as well waiting to be discovered. Now the reason that this opportunity exists here today is that from the 1960s onwards, mining and exploration in Filibuzi was interrupted by historic events. From our perspective today, this creates a wonderful opportunity for a company like Cavango to come and apply modern exploration and modern mining in unlocking this region's awesome potential. Now, the rocks that I have in front of me, these are samples of ore that have been taken from underground mining across our two main project areas. So over to the east, we have the Nara project that we've recently exercised our option on and we have very high hopes for as we come to develop over the coming years. What you can see in this ore that was taken from the Kalani shaft is clear signs of visible gold. This is particularly exciting from an exploration perspective because when you can see visible gold, it's an indicator that the rocks probably contain more than 10 grams a tonne. Further to the north, up at Stirnbok, this rock sample that we have here Again, we see more visible gold. Again, it's another excellent indicator of the potential around Stirnbok. But what we're most excited about here is that the recent 2,800 metre drill campaign that we completed, over four metres of strike, hit many reefs and lots of very good gold grades, averaging overall at 3.1 grams a tonne. We're coming back now to do more work at Steenbock and we have very high hopes that in the future, we'll be able to put one of our first spiral declines into this target. Down at the main hillside project area, where we have Bill's Luck and Night Shift, again, these are two samples of ore. You'll notice the different colours of all of these ores that are in front of me. We don't have any visible gold down at Bill's Luck or at Night Shift, but what we do have, as with the other rocks, is plenty of other visible mineralisation. This can be an excellent indicator for the potential of gold, because the gold tends to occur alongside other mineral elements. With these particular rocks, the samples that we've taken up, they've been averaging at Bill's Luck at around about two and a half to three grams a tonne, and at night shift around about three grams a tonne as well. We're now about to build a 50 tonne a day processing plant, a pilot plant at Bill's Luck, and at night shift, we're now gonna start an underground drilling campaign to test for the potential for putting a spiral decline into this particular target as well. Overall, this is an incredibly exciting province for Cavango to focus on building its business. It's within range of Bulawayo, where our main operations are based and our logistical hub, and we're looking forward to what we can achieve over the coming years, building this into a major gold producing hub within Zimbabwe.